welcome. Da, 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 welcome da, da, da. to Mario Kart. Hello, everyone. We are playing a Mario Kart because we both decided that Half Life needs a break. It needs to think about what it's done. It's a me Mario Kart. And we're playing the deluxe version. Deluxe. And we're going to switch off every race. That's right. We are not competing because we don't want that to we come want, between us. We want the chat to come between we us. We don't want to ruin our friendship. Uh, what, what do you think? Oh, we should probably play Mirrored. <laughs> <laughs> so 200cc is like damn near impossible. How about 150cc? Who care? Got it. <laughs> What's our character? Um, Look at how many we have. Do you like playing big boys or little boys? I like <laughs> all boys. <laughs> I like all styles of boys. <laughs> um, I usually play Toad because I'm obnoxious. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> Mario! <laughs> but we can play whoever. <laughs> no. Uh, worst character. Horrible. Not that one. Look at that. Go to the right, too. Look at the hair on that. He's yeah, Ludwig. Ludwig. Lud Ludwig. Um, He's supposed to be like Roy Orbison, <laughs> Iggy Pop, Ludwig von De Beethoven, von, von, von Wendy as in... So I think um, we should play Ludwig or the Shy Guy or the Boo. Let me kill my star. Uh, or one of the Inklings, but... Can we do Rendam? There's people from Animal Crossing? In the loop. Yeah. Like Isabel's in here? Ooh, we should play Isabel. All right, we can be Isabel. Should we be Isabel and the Beamer? <laughs> Is a Beamer? What else we got? No, horrible. Do you like the motorcycles? They're fine. That's the Zelda That's bike. Pretty dope. That's also the Zelda bike. Nice. That feels like an Isabel car right here. It does. There's a bug. Oh, I hate that. That's a bear. <laughs> These are inkling cars for sure. Yeah, let's do the the Vespa the Vespa scooter type thing. Yeah. Should we get some get some monster uh, hog tires on there? We should get some hog tires on here. Some big old big old big old. Those are some beefs. Are th is that no? Yeah, the blue ones. Or there were some other big ones, but was there another big one? Uh, I think those are the biggest boys. Maybe these these. Oh, there's balloon tires. Yeah. There's Those orange are pretty ones. big. Yeah, the orange ones, they look good, too. What about the purple ones? They small? small. Yeah, orange. Orange! All right, I am feeling that flower. Yeah, definitely. Looking good. All right, let's start at the start. I am going to have to remember every control. Where's the... <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom bike made of green goo and lasers. I don't know if they have any uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Totchki. Totchki. They have Breath of the Wild. What's the go button? A. All right. Cool. Shoulder is like your hop break. Yeah. Is uh, trigger the weapon or is B the weapon? I'll have to remember. And when's the zoom at the beginning? The second one, always. Right. We need the second one. Second light. On two? On two. So three, two, one. Yeah. I feel like it's different for every Mario Kart. It and is then can left. you still hold down and shoot to shoot behind you? Yes. Uh, left this trigger for the items. Cool. Ooh, this one's hard Did to you hit. see that, uh, like... Ah! gritty trailer for a Mario Kart movie. <laughs> I did. You sent it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that like three months ago. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, excuse me. I was like, oh, that was when Pedro Pascal was on SNL. Yeah, I don't see SNL when it's on. I just on. see when people post it. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm in general not a, uh, an SNL washer. Oh, you got inked. I did, you just got inked, I fool. Got, I ran into that banana. I saw the banana coming a mile away. Oh, my God. You could dodge it. No. Oh, my God. It's her. Oh, my God. They're eating her. And then they're going oh to no. eat me. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. my God. What's that from? Troll 2. Oh, yeah. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Do you know about boosting? Um... So when you're anti-grab and you run into someone, you get a little boost to boost. A little boost. And also, if you 
poop, if you hold trigger and you waggle the stick, you get a little boost. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Like that? Yeah, I'm not doing that. It's like advanced strats. I yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, but that's how you get in first place. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that either. Glad you started out on the on the easy map. Haha, I got Luigi, not me. Loser. Wow, how'd that happen? Because he was in first place just oh, long nice. enough yeah, to yeah, catch yeah. that blue shell. That's pretty good. You gotta watch out, you might catch these hands. The banana hands? Uh, banana hands is what they call them. Banana hands. Super hands. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was hands the whole show. This crack is rather moorish. And then and then in the last like episode it was like, oh his name is Hans. Hans. His like name Super is Hans. Super Hans, not yeah. hands. <laughs> Like Super Hands is what I thought it was. But it's Super Hans. Super Hans. What a good show. We're not naming the bar Free the Pedos. <laughs> I'm not naming the bar Free the Pedos. This crack is a bit Moorish. It's. And then Moorish. I didn't understand. I don't, because I'm not from the UK. Yes. Like, more of it. I want more of it. <laughs> Moorish. Not like of the Moors. <laughs> the Moors. The Moops. <laughs> moops. That uh, says here, Moops. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's Moops. Moops. <laughs> it's Moors, you moron. <laughs> it's Moops. What a stupid show. Oh. It is so antiquated and problematic. And it is. Uh, it is comfort show. I goofed it up. Because man. I've seen every episode a trillion times. A trillion billion times. A trillion million billion times. A Brazilian times. Get out of here. Yeah, so you got a little boost because you were zero Gs. Get a little booster boost. Man, this game is so colorful. Oh! It's like a warm hug. I didn't like when I... A warm hug, a thing that you really enjoy. I didn't like when I uh, crashed and then got slow. Amaticon, how is your day, week? I'm seeing these going. banana peels. I'm, I'm looking at them. Oh, okay, so do a... Is that the boost? No. Yeah, you did it. I did it. Oh, I missed the things, though. Oh, yeah! I feel like you were waiting for me, like... Look at me! Dad, look! Look at me, look at me, look, look at me now! Dad, look! Look at me, look at me, look at me now! I'm in second. Yeah, get wrecked, idiot. You can also hold down and it'll Oh, stay. I know. <laughs> I don't know what you know. I know that. Know. I might not know much, but I know that. Whoops. I flew too close to the proverbial sun. Ah, uh, the proverb sun. Oh, a coin and a banana peel. So helpful. Is it because I'm in first place? Yes. The items all suck up here. That's right. If you would have held on no. to the banana, it would have saved your buns. Yeah, I forgot about that, that the banana can save my buns. Ooh, look at you, red shell. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. I don't know how to use it. Yeah, you were using it right. Oh, I can just do it if over and over. You get three of them, yeah. <laughs> get out of here. And then it goes away. Oh, that was cute. She did a little spin with a heart. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be something good. A coin. Wait, oh, that box is so good. No, don't use it. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I was trying to use the coin. I pressed it too many times. Yeah, because that's the only thing that can destroy a blue shell. I should have kept it. Yep. Turns out. Yep, that's the one. Another coin. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. It's okay. We're good. No, no we're, not good. we're not good. At least you get second. Yeah. First place loser. My hubris. <laughs> Could have used that. Loudspeaker on the red show? Yeah. Yeah, sure could have. Destroys anything. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know what it was. I thought it was gonna be like a zoom me forward type of thing. I don't know if they I, they probably have the bullet bill still in this game. Oh yeah, bullet bill's good. I, I meant like the, the you know how the toadstools do it? Mm-hmm. It looked like oh, a I know how toadstools do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they got Nilla wafers up there. I saw those wafers. Oh, that happened to me too. I yeah, did the same I, thing. Yeah, must be on like a little after two then. Hey, Stinko man. Hey, Stinko man. I want to be the guy too. So you we see didn't... how your lights turn on when you get into a thing. So nice. That's that's just safety first. Yeah. So um, 
we didn't stream last week because you had a show. I had a show. I was uh, in it. How'd the show go? It was fine. Um, it was one of those shows where I'm like, it seemed like the audience enjoyed it. There was these uh, three women, uh, young women, like young in age. I didn't mean to be like, oh, young lady. Um, just like they were younger than a lot of the crowd. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I think it was their first show. And they were very like, I think they enjoyed it, but also like they were not laughing a lot. It were was right very like a like a tough crowd sort of thing. They were right up front. So the whole show I was just looking at him like, <laughs> uh, please clap. Yeah, it was kind of that Jeb Bush energy. Jeb! But I think everybody else liked it. And there were some funny parts. You best, you best hang back. Um, based on the email we got from our boss, boss. Our, our improv boss, I was like, oh, it must have been a low-key, like... There was not a lot of people there. Low-key show. But it's really hard to get people at a summer show. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to get people at shows in general That's anymore. Right. We, we're like... Thursdays is such a bad day. Yeah. Except if you stream, then it's a great day. It's a great day if you stream. Jeb! Please clap. Please clap. Now, vote for Jeb. I'm waiting for the DeSantis version of this now. God. Everything's cool and good here. Oh, the nice thing is he's he's flopping like crazy. Like he is hemorrhaging cash. He just had to fire someone on his team because they posted a Nazi video. Oh, good. Um, he is. He said the quiet part out loud. He's not going to win, and he is deeply unlikable, and he has the most. Nasally whiny little voice on okay, the Okay, but here's the thing. Saying he's not gonna win is dangerous. No, he's not. Yeah. I'll put my name to it. Trump will. I don't know, I a presidency is a different thing, but he'll win the nomination. The nomination. Like it's not it's not close. Yeah. Trump Trump is ahead by like I don't understand. 60, I don't sixty points. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I need someone to explain it to me like I'm five. He's funny? He's not funny. He's 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 Got some funny stuff that he says. He's not trying to be funny, but that. But why? Why? Why are you voting for someone because he says stupid things that you think are funny? I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> I know you're not. I, I'm just saying. That I think that there is a. Also, why isn't he dead yet? He's so old. He has a charisma that the other, the other candidates lack. Please clap. Yeah, I got DeSantis it. DeSantis has zero riz. He's got so nothing. little riz. I'm so sick of the coin. Oops, forgot about my brakes. Oh yeah, you you honk the horn. Did you see me do the zoom? Did you see me? Did you see me? I, I did. Did you see me? Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh no! Ha! Ah, that was so close. Wait. Get wrecked. All right. Oh, you. I was wondering if you're gonna take the shortcut. I don't know about the shortcut. You were like right lined up with the uh, the mushroom. I'm not a Nintendo boy. You are though. You are absolutely are now. Yeah, but I don't. I don't have the muscle memory. I also don't have this game. You absolutely are a Nintendo boy. You've owned two Nintendo consoles in a row now. Um. See, yeah, that's good. That's good banana. Which, which, which what? Which consoles? You had a Wii U, and then you had a Nintendo Switch. The only reason I have a Wii U currently is because it belongs to someone who gave it to us. Doesn't mean you don't own it. That's true. Didn't that? Isn't that how you got like your Sega? Sega. Yeah, it totally is. Oh my god. Kids know nothing. Oh! Come on now. Come on now. Woo! Thought it was giant for a second. I got stung by a wasp today. <laughs> Oh no! Um, wow. Okay, yeah, blue was, shell. 
It sucked. Uh, I was not aggravating the wasps. I was not even like swatting a wasp away. Wait, are you sure? They built a nest under the handle of the back gate. And I was taking the dogs out. And I was opening the back gate to take them back in. And one of them came out and it like landed on my wrist. And I was like, oh my God, get off. And it was like, fuck no. And it just <laughs> stung me. I've been stung so many fucking times by bees and wasps. I've actually never been stung by a bee or a wasp. <sighs> it's not fun. I don't, I'm not allergic. So no! I was, I was not, uh, I didn't go into like anaphylactic shock or anything. It's good. Yeah, it's great. Son of a dick. <laughs> um, it hurts more than getting a shot. Like, if you're going to get an, an injection, it hurts more than that. But, yeah. and I got it like a little bump, but it's it's gone now. You can't even see it. Uh, but yeah, it, it smarts. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And then I went to go get Wasp Killer, and I killed the shit out of those bastards. Have you seen the videos where they use a cup of gasoline? Mm -hmm. That's like really, really dope. It's cool, but you could also use so many other things that aren't insanely flammable. Oh, sure, <laughs> but well, that sounds uh, <laughs> lame and not as metal. And also, I couldn't, I couldn't do that because they like were uh -huh. in yeah. the like wood panel. Is it over? Just for this race, we got gold. <gasps> gold. Bruh. Yeah, um, nope, never been stung. I've been chomped on by plenty of bugs, like oh, yeah. freaking horse flies and deer horse flies. Horse flies. Uh, Those hurt so bad. Oh, yeah, they they are coming for you. Dragonflies. I've, I've never been bitten by a dragonfly. Eh, it's something that looks like a dragonfly. Um, what else? Spiders. Spiders have really done <clears> me. <throat> I've only been bitten by a spider, like, in my sleep. Yeah. Like, I woke up with a giant thing, and yep. I was like, that must have been a spider. Yeah, oh, they, they like to... Did you know that you eat 500 spiders a night when you're sleeping? <laughs> 500 a night. <laughs> and on your deathbed, if you haven't eaten uh, the average, they they force you to. Yes. You have to eat a bowl of spiders. <laughs> and then Joe Rogan comes out to tell you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so tired. Joe Rojan. So tired of everyone. Well, I was going back to his Fear Factor days. Uh, yeah, but like anymore, it doesn't matter. Like... Anymore, just oh Joe Rogan. You know he makes a lot of good points. <laughs> I've been listening to this man, this Joe Rogan fellow. Have you ever heard of this Joe Rogan? He's pretty great. Joe Rogan. Swing out wide. Uh, my favorite. Pop pop. My favorite dumb ass character on the internet is uh, Tim Pool. He's the biggest moron on the earth. I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's very popular. Uh, with like. Teens, <laughs> Teen, disaffected teenage boys. Like Andrew Tate. Yeah, he's. I think he's interviewed Andrew Tate, or at least Jason. He's like a big sicka fan, and like overall, really dumb guy. Like he's not smart. He thinks he's really smart, and he's really not. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, that was, that was fun. you did so good. <laughs> it's like I'm being. Stung by a wasp all over again. People just need to be more like Narwar and just interview nicely and not talk to idiots and not be an idiot. That's all. What did Anaconda say? Tim's brain is so much healthier for not experiencing the psychic damage of Tim Pool. Oh, yeah, for real though. Yeah. He's uh, got it. He's he wears um he's balding, which is fine. I got like nothing to be ashamed about if you're if you're balding. Um. But he is so self-conscious about it. He wears a beanie all the time. Uh -huh. It's the same beanie. And he looks like a dope. It's like, you're not fooling anybody, buddy. You know, I bet, like, if I looked him up, I would recognize him. I've probably seen clips and stuff. You, you probably on, have. Like, reels or whatever. Um, but I uh, just can't stand some of that stuff. A lot of times I'll start watching a clip like that, like on a show like that. And so I just can't stand it. I have to just not watch it. I can't make it all the way through because people are just so arrogant and stupid. Oh, you made a mistake, son. No, no, no. Oh, I did it. What'd you I do? made it happen. I think I just evaded it. I made it like hit a wall or something. Nice. Um, yeah, the only way I can really... 49 state landslide. Ugh. Well, anyone who looks at that um, you know, red map is like, see, look at the map. 
Look, it's wait, so wait, red. The map is so red. America is red. Look at it all. I, I have a, I have such a an issue with like the ideology that like one the Democrats don't have to do anything because they have more people on their side. Which you just were like, hey, you know this banana peel looks really nice. I just went right into it. It's true. There is more people who vote Democrat than Republicans. Not that our system really reflects that. However, they um, they need to change. Like the, people yeah. do feel disaffected. They are economically poorer than they ever were. You have to take on this rising right wing state. Like you have to do yeah, stuff. Yeah. You have to. But you know, like, what are you gonna do? It's like I I feel like everyone in the government who is a Democrat is just like, um, what's his name? Who played Fonzie? Andy Winkler? Something Henry. Winkler. Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler in The Waterboy. Like, yes. he's just like, oh, but well, you used to be really good. No, I'm just not. Yeah. They're, they're so terrified of their own fucking shadow and captured by yep. their donors. It, it makes me so angry. Um, also, the... Um, the the only way I can stomach those right-wing idiots is through someone like R.M. Brown, who is amazing and a treasure, and who goofs on him like a, a drive-time radio sort of thing. It's great. I miss Colbert. He was okay, but like, didn't do enough. Um, like he just played along. It was yes. there wasn't enough of like, hey, you're bad and this is bad and you're like, you're stupid yes. and this is why. I, I think that the, there needs to be like a harder look at like s the system of like yes. what. As Amaticon said, capitalists are driving us towards extinction. Um, and until we really uh, tackle with the system that is causing all of, like, climate change and stuff, as we're seeing it, like, we are living yep. we are living it every day now, and it's only going to get worse. I saw a tweet, and it was uh, people, like, employees at maybe, I don't know, some, some horribly hot state park, like, out west, and they were taking a picture um, because there was like a record heat day, and it was already like a record hot place. Yeah. And it was like 136. They're standing yeah. next to. And the tweet was, "This is like dinosaurs taking pictures with an asteroid or whatever." Like. For fucking real though, like it, what pisses me off is like, it's not easy. Like getting out of this and, and and blunting the effects of climate change and coming up with like a new solution for energy and stuff. It's not an easy thing. And, right. And people claiming that like we just got to drive electric cars, you're dumb. That is not a solution to this problem. Yeah, Elon's going to save us. Yeah, it's not a solution to the problem. It, it is one thing that we can be doing, but we need to be looking at this far more broadly because it's like, oh, you have all these batteries. You have like, you have to get lithium from places, and you're just talking about reintroducing the systems of exploitation that yeah. already exist for fuel extraction. Electric cars. And now for lithium. They're not saving the planet. They're saving car companies. They are saving the exact... They're trying to preserve the exact way we live right now. Yes. Which is unsustainable. Which has gone backwards. We yeah. Like, there used to be so much more public, um, transit. public transportation. And yes. And now it's just everyone, like, buy a car. The at world should be asphalt. Like, yes. we need more parking lots. We can live more densely. We can uh, provide more public services. We can create more public transportation. And, like, the energy that we need to produce is not going to come from everyone likes to pick your thing. Uh, wind, solar, you know, hydroelectric. All of those are great. All of them are needed. It, not one of those things is going to be the solution. You have to start looking big, and you have to start looking at reducing our energy oh, consumption, and also like replacing because the majority of our electricity that is uh, good job, the majority of our electricity that's generated in this country is from coal. Yep. Um, like by, by far and away, um, it is it is a thing that like which is going to last forever. We have to look at things like things that produce high yields of energy with low. Uh, low yields of waste. Things like nuclear power, which is a, in and of itself not a solution. Um, right, but it is so much better. It is, it, is a, it is a less wasteful system than what we do now. And it, it does not create nearly nearly the same uh, pollutants. But people are just really stupid about new technologies like wind farms or solar yes. farms. They're like, well, it doesn't work if it's cloudy. And it's like, well, actually, man, it does. Or like, oh, well, it's just, well, the wind farm, we're just going to have like strong winds all the time like they're not fans dummy and people also like this is something that that makes me upset is like people who consider themselves on the uh let's say right side of history uh when you come to wind farms and things that like 
are large installations and, and not always extremely pleasant to look at. There's so many people who'd be like, well, I'm so for it, but like not where I live. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yes. Um, yes. That, I'm, I'm pretty sure West Lafayette, wherever that place is, not related <laughs> to where we are, um, like voted to like not have wind farms like within city limits. Infuriating. Because, it, because it's like, well, it, it, it reproduces the same shit we've always had, which is like, well, poor, poorer people, generally black and brown people, then now have to bear the brunt right. of, of all of that shit again. I mean, here's the thing. It makes a ton of sense to put them in like farms and stuff. I know we they lose a little bit of farmland, but those are big empty tracts of land that like are perfect for wind farms. Um, but also, put them anywhere. They're not that unpleasant to look at. Like they are not. Windmills nowadays look pretty like nice. They're just these white structures. Plus, they make ones that don't look like that, like the wobble ones that yep. are just like a pole. There's so many uh, like it is going to have to be like the way you look at it is is it is not a a uh, bullet. It is definitely like several things that are going to help us along the way. And what pisses me off is it's not just like, oh, uh, well, we just got to make little tweaks. Like, we haven't even fucking started on this shit. Right. And it's here. Yep. Yep. Um, it, 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 uh, the, and, and I have no faith that, like, the market, quote, market, is able to solve this. The market doesn't solve things. It, it, markets go quarter by quarter. That shareholders are looking for the next quarter. You cannot create long-term solutions that that change the way we are. When you have something like, well, fossil fuels are fucking cheap and they make me money right now. Exactly. Right. Um, and if if you're a CEO and you're like, well, I know climate change is real and I, I care, like, you're gonna get your ass replaced by the person that will say like, wow, well, I'm making the profits now. Right. Um, yeah. The wind engine balloons, like you always see those in, uh, like movies about the future or whatever like and that that's the thing with uh sci-fi is that a lot of times they predict the things that are like make sense and feasible because oftentimes they're written by people who know what they're talking about yes or the people who do research Kim and Stanley talk Robinson. to people like i was thinking about big hero six and uh the scene where they're flying around all those like wind collectors which is cool or the machines they put out to like capture the energy in ocean waves. Yes. Like ocean waves don't stop. Those are just they're not yeah, going to stop. Yeah. They're naturally occurring. Um there's like uh that was one thing that and Trump And they'll catch garbage at the same time. It's like such a good Trump system. Was, that was one of the things that Trump was against. That was they were putting those off the coast of his golf, golf courses. Course. Scotland golf I think. Courses. And Oh, that's Scotland golf course though, yeah. by the way. And he was like, "No, I don't want them cuz they're ugly." Um just another reason they but that they're not thing. even ugly I, I know and i think they're like majority of the machinery is underwater yeah um but like yeah these are things that are like doable right now that we can start towards so like eventually we can start like tackling our energy needs as well as like trying to negate the effects that are already happening like we're, people are going to have to migrate because we have made the planet in uninhabitable yep. like there are zones in the earth that will be not fit for human life no matter what, like, uh, you know, uh, air conditioning and stuff that you, you can bring. Because it will melt that shit. Yeah. Um, so you have to provide places for those people to go. Displace places. But we're so stupidly hung up on, like, uh, post-war, like, World War II, like, economic order that we're not willing to think outside that. Capitalism will not save us from this. We need something uh, the different. The market, the, the free market. Yeah, the free market that we have to keep propping up every time it collapses every 10 years. It's so free and, and self-correcting. It's just, so it's just so frustrating. Welcome to the frustration stream where we talk about this stuff all bright, nice, colorful things happen on the screen. Woo! Uh oh What happens if you fall off? A little man in the cloud comes and picks up the fish and and puts you back on. This is all because that stupid wasp. <laughs> the wide angle. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> those, I was thinking in my head, like, oh, yeah, the wasps. Yeah, they did this.
Won't someone please think of the wasps? Of the wasps? Of our our job creators? Oh, excuse me. Oh, you know what? I didn't put it in the Snapchat. That's probably why we don't have a lot of people. Although we love who we have. We love who we have. Doing great this race. I think you're doing great. Thank you. Why don't you give us a call at 765 213 play 312 Dry Tofu. That's a different one that may or may not still exist. I should try calling that. You should call it on stream. Let's see if it still exists. My guess is no. Ah! Yes! Woo! Woo! That was a close one. I'm drinking some Montucky cold snack. What? That's the name of the beer. Nice. That's cool. Montucky cold snack. I got it when I was in Minnesota. In Montucky? Yes, when I was in Montucky. Oi, oi, oi! El Cabada. Oh. Who's El Cabada? I knew I should have posted in the stupid wow. Snapchat earlier. El Cabada. I don't know an El Cabada. I only know Who like a that? 13 is... that is red. Wow. So official. We get gold? Yeah. Nice. That's two golds in a row. Two golds in a row. I tried so hard today. I know. To muster people up. To get a Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> I was working. And plus, I don't really play Pokemon Go. I texted the Pokemon groups that I'm in. I messaged the Snapchat group that I'm in. And I was like, oh, sorry, I was sleeping. Oh, I was sleeping. Sorry. Oh, oh, we should use the squirrel. Uh, yes. <laughs> Dadders is like, I'm, I'm here. And then 20 minutes later, okay, I'm back. <laughs> like, no, you missed it. I said there's 15 minutes left. You said I'm here. <laughs> I am salt. Is that a salt? No, it's not salty. It's, it's, it's the, a face. Yeah. It's uh, a total biscuit, I think is the... Total biscuit. Uh, who uh, died. Wait, what? Yeah, what? To to told this it was like a YouTuber, and they died because they had cancer. Where did you? Why did you bring that up? Because that's the the guy. Oh, okay. That's the emoji, I think. I I didn't know what you're talking about. And I, yeah. and I said his name in that way, and then you said that sad thing. I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah. It, I feel rude. Yeah, that, no, that's I think where that comes from. That's the deep lore, I believe, or I'm talking out of my butt. That's the best place to talk out of. I'm not talking out of my butt in the fact that Total Biscuit was a YouTuber and they died of cancer. That's true. I just think that that's the okay, or, yeah. the genesis of that. Genesis. Genesis. The Sega Genesis of this. When you look at the Sega Genesis of the human species. The Sega Genesis of the human spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to try to do the short. Oh. oh. Well, just like straight through there? Yep. Try not to hit any boxes. I guess that's a technically a shortcut. Well, that doesn't matter. Bye. Good thing you got those red shells. I know, I did. Oh, no, it hit a thing. <clears throat> you doofus. Got him. Hey. Wow. Hey. Got you with a green shell. That's real bad. Oh, the banana! Oh my god! He got you with the banana! When did the computer get super good all of a sudden? So good! It's like we're in a harder race bracket. <laughs> plane! <laughs> Should've hit the plane. He can do it! He can do it! He can do you it! did it! Nice. So many shells you're getting in first place. I was just getting like bananas and coins. You just have to be good. Donk. 
<clears throat> Kick Kong. Da 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 da. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Mother fucker. Ooh, you said the whole thing. It's because I was the whole thing mad. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what? A Ooh. coin and a banana. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's all coins and bananas. All the way down. He can do it. He can do it. He did oh. it. Oh. Good job. Voice. Voice place. Oh. It's called gaming. That was a gamer moment. Gamer moment. It's called gaming. <laughs> I was gaming. Everybody see that? Did everybody see? Everybody see the gaming? Did everybody see that sometimes I am good at video games and that's not all the time bad? <laughs> Please look at me. Please notice me, senpai. <laughs> you tried to no, you didn't. You didn't have a gamer moment because we didn't do the Pokemon <laughs> raid. Oh, I knew it. I was looking at the chat and I got goofed up. You really donked it up, goofball. You really donk it up, mushhead. <laughs> really goofed it up, donkball. <laughs> I am a dunk ball. <laughs> I didn't know you abandoned the raid. I didn't. Oh, well, there were three seconds left and three people in there. We that got heel is from Mario 64. Oh, you remember that, but you didn't have a Nintendo 64. Oh, you were you went straight from a Genesis to a PlayStation 2. Yep. Everyone must remember the history of Tim's gaming past. My gaming past was that was the thing that got me into doing everything that I do today. I owe everything to video games. I owe it all to video games. That's the reason I have a degree in engineering is because I thought them video games are pretty cool. And then they're like, they run on a computer. And I was like, a computer? I was like, those things are pretty cool. If they can play games. And then I wanted to learn everything about them. And here I am today. Master and Lord and Wizard of Computers. Domain of all digital. <laughs> I did not understand that area right there. Well, you got through it. No! <laughs> Son of a biscuit! <laughs> you lint liquor! You lint liquor! <laughs> Man, we got the SNL sax on again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ambler Tamblin. <laughs> Here's a bell. Mario T. Plumber. Flash Mob. <laughs> Flash Mob. Koopa Stank. <laughs> Corn. Corn. Corn's is, corn is in the resurgence. The corn has been resurged. Oh, what are you up to this weekend? Just nothing, just resurging porn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, you got that. Man, someone's just really blowing on that sax. No! 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 I'll <laughs> coin you! <laughs> A coin! A coin! A single coin! No, I get on the slow part. You no! really mushed it up, Donkey No! <laughs> no, here comes the ball. <laughs> Fourth place. It's not my fault. Fourth place. I, there was nothing I could do. That's not gaming. That's everything but gaming. There was nothing <laughs> I could do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I probably shouldn't be sitting like this. It's not good for you. Oh! <laughs> Sitting and you don't stand or sit or lie down. Don't exist. I w God, please stop perceiving <laughs> me. <laughs> Someone who's like, wild how 28 years ago, two people had unprotected sex and now I have to pay bills and go to work. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Oh, cool. I have sentience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Uh, now I have to give meaning to this meaningless life. Now I have to sit in traffic. 
because of my parents. Couldn't just keep it in your pants. <laughs> I was happily unincorporated. I was I was floating in a star field somewhere. <laughs> just vibing. I was vibing with my other atoms. <laughs> Strong force, weak force, all the forces, really. Hey, who are you? <laughs> I must focus. Uh, El Cabana, are you got Cabana? Cabana, El Cabana. Cabana. Are y'all still playing Stardew right now? Hey, you. Just sitting in a circle, doing do. Um, when do you go back to work? Uh, the ninth. Oh, you still got some time. I still got some time. You still got some time to live. I need you to live for me because I can't. <laughs> going to the beach tomorrow. Oh, that's very fun. Going I'm going to, to work tomorrow, of which I have been doing for all time. Have you gotten out to the beach this summer? No. Work. I can. You can. Um, if you were sick, would you? I was sick last week. But what if you were sick again? Yeah. What if? <laughs> what if that? I plan on going to the beach sometime, cool, septem sometime next month. It's cool. We're going with some. We're going with some. A family that. Uh, so each of the two kids. Our classmates with each of our two kids, so that's nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, a coin. That should really help me out. That'll zoom you up. Oh man, how did that? How did that, how did that person zoom. avoid? That'll zoom you up. Uh, That'll really zoom getting, it up. Really there. getting sucked over here. Get, get sucked. <laughs> I'm just getting sucked off. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. This game's just sucking you off. Uber driver sucked me off? <laughs> Zero stars. Ugh. It's because I wasn't in the gamer position. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you like changed yeah. your position. Trying to save your back. That's not a gamer move. I, this, is, this is not good for it either, but this is what I naturally want to do. What, sit? Just do some with the, normal with the, human sitting. I, I just two leg, two feet on the ground. That's what you gotta do. What the fuck? <laughs> both of them. I can't just do that. Just plant. You gotta you just plant them. I need to be oh, doing one of these. Oh, look at that! Oh, look how spread the plane just got. Yeah. It's the front. You don't come out the front of a plane. You doing this one? Zaboom! Ah, Zaboomafu! Get out of here. Get, that's mine. Everybody remembers Zabumafu? Yeah, of course. Oh no. Isn't it cool how your your tires get a little snow on them? It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. And how it's very icy and everyone's like, I don't so know. So icy. I'll just wear my summer clothes. <laughs> but summer clothes are so comfy. Summer I don't know, I prefer winter oh, clothes. By a a large margin. Love winter clothes. I don't love winter clothes in the summer. No. <laughs> No, no, no. Those belong where they belong. But I, you know, I like a layered outfit. But luckily, we may never have winter again. <laughs> oh, good. Oops. I forgot to pull up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then now I have to pay child support. <laughs> oh, you just went for it, huh? <laughs> just went for the joke. No buildup. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, uh, there was no, no foreplay to that joke. I forgot what I was watching. He was like, they were just like, oh, it was they were making jokes or something. He's like, oh, that's great, no build up, just go right for it. You guys making jokes? You guys, tell oh my god, oh my god, I was in second place. How? Just freaking how? How though? How? This one doesn't have laps, by the way. It's all just downhill. Oh what? No yeah. wonder I didn't recognize anything. Get out of here. Aha! No, cool tree. Oh cool my second god. tree. Oh my and god. Third tree. Just Sunny Bono on these trees. Oh my god. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I, I felt it as I said it. I was like, yeah, maybe Ooh. you shouldn't. Maybe you shouldn't. That's two two jokes so right in a row that... I think that we should do away with bosses. We should improve society somewhat. Yes. And yet you participate in ah, society. And yet you ah, own an iPhone. I'm very ah, that says a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have a phone. Doesn't that make everything better? Check check and mate. Uh, you say that you can't make your car payments, and yet you have a refrigerator. Ah, you have accessed the internet once. Suspicious. Oh, you have this. You have this. No, I you swear don't. To God, I swear to God. I swear to God. I've got it. I've got it. Yes. Woo! Woohoo! Felt good. Felt good. I got tingles. Woo, I, got ting I got tingles that right was, now. That's gaming. <laughs> I, got, I got tingles. Who did a gamer moment? <laughs> shorts and athleisure. Oh, you have to be a, a PE teacher to wear shorts and athleisure. I can wear this because I work from home. Um, but I don't get a lot of breaks, and I'm always working. So who's to say what's better? Is it? Did we get it? I think we did. Oh, we did it. We did it. Is that a, is that a gold trophy? Yeah. Sure is. By one point. One point. By one point. One. You lint point. liquor. You lint liquor. Something, something, come quat. You lint liquor. What is the other stuff in that commercial? Who you calling lint liquor? No, who you calling come quat? You lint liquor. Ooh, there's even more cups. Oh, so many cups. Let's do one more. Okay. As well, long as you can. Let's start the Grand Prix. Lint Liquor. <laughs> Lint Liquor commercial transcript. Transcript. <laughs> okay. Who are you calling a cootie queen, you Lint Liquor? <laughs> cootie queen. You son of a biscuit eating bulldog. What the French toast? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo-doo head, cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? Pickle you kumquat. You're overreacting. No, Bill. Overreacting was when I put your convertible into a wood chipper, stinking extinct face. You hoboken. Fabulous. It was for gum. You little doo-doo head, cootie queen. Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? What is happening? There's Pickle me, kumquat. I have to go through the big cannon. Shoot me, dragon. So um, I have been DMing a D&D &D game. That's pretty fun. It, I think, wow, you just went for it. Why well, you went for it again? Oh, just falling down. Cloud man's got to save you. Yeah, but I, it was a secret strap because now I'm in third place. I think it's going pretty well. Do I am. I've got the next sesh prepared. I'm pretty excited about it. Do people seem in into it? I think so. It's always hard to tell because as it's happening, I can't really pay that much attention to everyone's feelings because oh, I'm just so like, no oh, the the game has to go on. No change for you. I'm like, ah, oh. uh, is everyone okay? Does everyone need to do it? No, nope. everyone's good. All right, let's go. But um, El Kabat is in in the game. What is what is El Kabat thing for real? Tell us the real. So scoop. the real the deal. Real Inside Edition. John Tesh. Um, so I it's a because I have one trick. I'm a horse with one trick. The you're campaign, a one trick pony. I'm a one trick horse. Uh, the campaign that I I don't know, just make it up as I go. But I'm basing it off of Forbidden Island, the board game. I played it. Yeah. Who's, and I, who's the, reason, the water carrier? <laughs> that's Forbidden Desert. Uh, but the reason I say I have one trick, because I also wrote like an expedition quest series about Forbidden Island as well. And I was like, oh, I could DM a D&D &D thing about a thing I've already written mostly. But it's obviously it's different. I can do way more with D&D &D. uh, expeditions kind of limited. So... Uh, I think it's going pretty well. We've done like I think we've done two sessions so far. First session was mostly like introductions and getting on a boat and stuff like that. Um, 
Second session, we landed at Fool's Landing. Uh, we saw the Misty Marsh and the Cliffs of Abandon. Abandon! First place. This is doing so great DMing. You have to say that. Yeah, he has to say he was fishing so for you it. You can't just say it, be here and be like. Mm. He was fishing for it pretty Actually, hard. Actually, I have notes. I think mostly what El Kabata enjoys about me DMing is that he's not DMing. El Kabata, just um, DM me the real the real scoop on what's going on. Tell me how it's really hard to play because he's got a flop sweat going on I'm the whole time. I'm doing so great, Dungeon Mommy. <laughs> uh, there, it, swap flat. Swap? <laughs> Slap flat! You pulling a Slap! Mitch, Mitch McConnell glitching over there. <laughs> you too! Take luck. Um, oh. No, it's impossible to flop sweat in the basement where we play D&D because it is three degrees down there. Glitch McConnell. The thing is, I can't, I can't, I can't be spoiling these dungeons because <clears throat> I got players in the chat. People would like to hear more about your dungeons. Your well, El Cabada is uh, intermittently DMing um, a Magic the Gathering based campaign, which is super fun. And is I there a lot of love path it. walkers? No, uh, it's Strixhaven. Oh, so uh, it's Strixhaven, which is, I guess, like a wizarding type school, like Harry Potter esque. Um, uh, how, how transphobic is it? <laughs> well, the campaign's not but the author. Yeah. Silly characters and NPCs. Um, so my character, I am playing a character in my own campaign um, because I wanted sort of a, like he brought the team together and he's kind of leading the expedition. But he is an NPC technically, but I am playing him like a like a real character. Nice. His name is Augustin Fairmount the Third. Oh, ho, ho, ho. pipe and all. <clears throat> but so they've they're going to like an abandoned ancient island, so oh, there wow. really aren't. Aren't that many like silly characters to run into, but they have met a ghost, and they had to figure out it was. They did it pretty quick, um, but they had to figure out the whole ghost whole deal, and they're putting the ghost to rest. That's pretty nice that they're doing that. Um, they're fighting some willow wisps. A g -g 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 ghost. And like session two, and I did this like it's my own fault because I put a fork in the road in front of them. Immediately split the party. Immediately, like, two groups. Like, we should go it's our separate yeah. ways. So you're playing Scooby-Doo. Oh, yeah. And it's fine that they did that because I was sort of planning on it, and I figured it would happen, but um, it would have been fine for them not to do that, and honestly, it would have made things a lot easier for them because there would be twice as many people fighting these things. But it's okay. <laughs> you party. Go over there. Us hot party. We're going to go make out in the corner. <laughs> Fun party this way. I mean, I will say I have not made anything easier just because there's only half the people at each area. So they're going to have to, like, you know, deal with the consequences of their own actions. Ah, my petard. Oh, I'm no. I'm being hoisted by it. Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Oh, my God. This uh. map. This map sucks. Right, you ran right into them dry bones. But it's okay, because they got destroyed, which probably saved you. Did I get what? first? Wow. Oh, 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 A finish that you came behind. That's right. That was, that was a gamer moment, if I, I've ever seen one. I didn't even know the race was ending. I was just grooving. I was just in the moment. That I mean, that's just natural talent. You can't teach that. It's just, that's just a gamer moment. If you like video games, you're going to love this. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Bowser. But so the reason I finally caved and, and DM'd a, a game, is a campaign, is because we just finished one, uh, which was the... Um, Avernus descent. Baldur's Gate. Have you played Baldur's Gate? Descent in the Avernus. It's something in the Avernus. But yeah, that's the the that's book rule book or whatever. Yeah. Um, Venture guide. And our married friends DM'd co DM'd that one. I played Nedric, the Who's halfling. Cody? Cody. The halfling paladin, who is honestly super tanky. And, oh, he's a uh, tanky. Tell me more. What? Oh, there's in leftist circles, a, a tanky is like uh, considered someone who wants to 
use military might to achieve oh. their own ends. No, he was just um, a high dexterity uh, paladin, so he had a really high armor class, had a shield and everything, so he like was untouchable for much of the campaign. Enemies would try to hit him and constantly miss, which was so satisfying. And then I'm just like, smite, smite, smite. And it's hilarious because our whole, most of our party in that campaign were short little people. Like we had a gnome, we had a halfling, which was me. We had um, um, a birdman who was reasonably short. So the Harvey Birdman, the tallest person, was a uh, like a half elf who was like five foot eight or something. So like me, the three foot tall halfling was always the one like clanking out in front of everybody to protect everyone. It was fun. It was super fun, but it was two years long. Wow, that's a long campaign. Sure was. Do you want to know some trivia? Probably you don't care. I love trivia. Um, so I just got finished reading John Romero's book. John Romero is the co-creator of Doom and Quake and Wolfenstein. Cool. Um, interesting it's book. Wolfenstein. Uh, yes. Wolfenstein. It's a family name. Um, so... It's Brigade. He's an interesting character, very interesting upbringing, very complicated upbringing. Yeah. Um, you mentioned D&D. Demons. Uh, got it, inner demons. Um, oh, no. Well, you can't scratch your nose. I did, though. Um, so Quake, the game Quake. The, yeah. The reason they called it Quake was originally because they had a years-long D&D Fuck! No. A years-long D&D campaign where they had, like, a... Like a really strong guy that was just in the game, like an NPC, and he was like the strongest guy ever. His name was Quake. Quake. And he had a big hammer. And so when they were originally making Quake, they were going to make it inspired by that. You're dope. Uh, you're, you're goofing it. I'm, I'm trying not to. New boot goofing over here. Um, <sighs> third place. They were trying to do that. They originally they, they couldn't make it work with the technology at the time and the time constraints, so they made a first-person shooter, but that's why it was called Quake. Because of their years-long D and D campaign, which ended with the world ending. <laughs> nice. The, the, they they made a bad gamble, and the world ended, and there was just nothing they could do. That was the end of the game. So their years-long characters that they built, dead. That's, Everybody's that's dead. A, that's a solid choice yep. on the DM's part. Like everyone dies. You know what? You're dead. Well, they they made it like the DM, who which is like the graphics programmer John Carmack, which <laughs> libertarian asshole. Uh, like so, a libertarian. Uh, yeah, no, for real. Uh, probably one of the most influential nope. programmers of all time, and is a very smart person when it comes to exclusively that. Yeah. Um, but he was the DM, and he's very rules based. And when they made, he made an offer like, "Hey, do you want to do this? Something bad could happen." And they said, "Yeah, let's do it." And oh, sure. Then he goes, "Okay." And <laughs> then the world ended. Guess what? Something bad happened. Yep. <laughs> I told you it would be. This is a mistake. <laughs> oh, it's oh fine. wow! Almost. Uh, almost. Almost didn't. You were giving me guff because of um, I'm Look doing at bad. this map that I'm on. You were giving me guff. Listen, I'm not a Nintendo boy. Oh, now we pull that card out. They don't make these games oh, for the Genesis. I'm just a little baby. Just a baby. <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> just a little baby. You can't blame me. I'm just a baby. <laughs> so convenient. So convenient. Oh my god. <laughs> what a horrible. What a horrible. This is Rainbow Road. I can't stand the Rainbow Road. Oh, that says a lot. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be Rainbow Roading it up here. That's an infinite mushroom. Yes, so I know. Be, be careful. Well, I don't know what you know and don't know. You always say you don't I know. I know everything. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Are we just almost? Oh, it's a gamer moment. We're yeah. <laughs> almost. That almost was really dope. Do some skips. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where I come back and win. I'm waiting for it. Seriously, though, how cool was that gold mushroom, though? That was very cool. I'm still geeking about I, it. I, I think you could throw a football over those mountains. <laughs> Coach just put me in. We, <laughs> we were one state. Not a doubt in my mind. 
No doubt in my mind. <laughs> I've gone pro. Be sitting in a hot tub with my soulmate. I'm saying that we might not get gold this round. Hey, Kip. You know a lot about cyberspace. <laughs> you ever come across anything like time travel? Easy. I've already looked into it for myself. It's no big deal. Just the greatest movie ever made. That's a very strong statement to make about the movie Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon! Oh my god. Look at all those pity stars behind me. Jesus. Uh, honk! Last place, last place, last place, last place! Honk! Not last! That's right. <laughs> We didn't do that bad. Third, 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 third place. We got we got bronze. Respectable. We got bronze. Respectable. We placed though. We did place. We're on the podium. That's right. That's all that matters. Except the other two that are higher than us. Uh, <laughs> staying up there just as good. It's like rose gold. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What is it? It's time. Yeah. Well, what's the What's the what? The what's customization. The, yeah, what is it? Well, we'll find out. Show us. I will. Why don't you want to show us? I'm showing you right now. I just feel like you're hiding it. I'm not. Me, 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 me. It's a new car. <sighs> it's a Yoshi. Oh, I don't like it. It's a Yoshi mobile. Mm, I don't look at look what they did to Yoshi. <laughs> look at what they did to my boy. They made him into a motorcycle. He's most, they <clears throat> they did the sonic treatment. They made him into a robot. <laughs> oh, well, <clears throat> thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, well, <clears throat> yeah, <God. laughs> watch out for deer. <laughs> Hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Well, bye. See you, See you uh, next time. On the next time. Uh, Fart. Fart.